for listening to shit. Look at that way, everything. Look at my keyboard. Guys, look at my keyboard, guys. I put my phone right here, I can see it. Is it nice? Look at that. Lights. Boom. Whoa! I got another light setting. The last thing where who am I to disagree? Travel the world in seven seas. Hey, what the hell, man? The reactor one, the classic reactor. Oh shit! What I want to talk about today is I want to ignore my keyboard. I want to make it shine in the background. You okay, see here. Anyway, let me just put it on the no more reactive. I'm putting my keyboard too much. Man, we got, we're going to get good, so I like my keyboard. It's a roll clutch. Arcade. Jesus Christ, the line's poor. Very poor. Be right back. Don't worry, I'm a setup king. I've got to be set up. Just don't know me. Don't know me, son. Don't know me, son. L content gamer. Content gamer? Content creator? It's not like weed in my room, bro. I, I, I'm not a weed smoker. Oh, I don't smell weed. I was like, it smells a strong earthy smell. It's just not like fucking ass. That's way too bright, buddy. Buddy old pal. Abuse. I don't want to be being abused, bro. Actually, no, I don't need to watch that. Just watch one episode of Fresh and Fit. Uh, if I stay at this angle, I'm chilling. Let me move the light up. I'm playing my first three minutes of this video, just setting up my myself. I haven't recorded a video in a while, though. So I think it's good. I think it's chill. At least I'm recording a video, you know? I don't know how to keep my head like this. My hair is a mess, ignore that. I'm gonna pause this actually. Being annoying. The arithmetic sweet dreams are made of these. Sweet dreams are made of these. You see it. You see it. Alright? You see it, man. There's something interesting I'm, I'm watching. Okay, go closer. Go closer. Go closer. I think this is fine. You know something I'm interested in watching? I was, I was watching like a really good fucking like Japanese song. I wasn't watching it, I was just listening to it as I'm, you know, working, doing a thing, reading a bit, working, trying to decide to edit, focus through some files, get, just get organized a little bit on my computer. I don't want to say computer, like computer. Computer? I'm saying I'm like Australian, now I'll say, yeah I can. <laughs> I was trying to get organized for a bit and I just realized to myself, I'm just, you know, just head bopping, you know? Like, you know you do, you just head bop, you're chilling, you're vibing. This music, yeah, 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 okay, I'm fucking vibing this music. I need a hero, and I don't want to you know, that type of shit. But I just, I just got taken out of my head bop for the moment, I got taken out of my vibe. I just thought to myself again, like, holy shit, I am a lonely motherfucker, and I am very happy that I'm a lonely motherfucker. Now, hear me out, hear me out. The reason why I'm so happy that I'm lonely is that I've now come to realize that there's no one really I can talk to, I can resonate with, I can benefit from, stand to benefit from, they can stand to benefit from me as well, the value that I bring, the value that they bring. 
in the sense that I don't have anyone that really is similar to me. I, ha I have people that I can call, that I can call friends, um, acquaintances. But I cannot have. I don't have anyone I can really call my best friend. I don't have anyone I really can call my close friend, my my close ally. It's a classic dilemma of an extrovert. You know, when an extrovert's outside and they're really happy, etc. So I don't know. I always consider myself 50-50 on this because I feel quite happy being alone right now. I was quite an introvert thing to be. But I'm thinking that because of the fact that in the future I will find my people, I will find people that I resonate with the most, that are within the self improvement boundary, that would like to aggressively improve, get their life in order, get rich, get focused, get fit, that type of thing. Damn, this, this line is doing me dirty. I don't fucking. It doesn't even look like muscle, it just looks like a bump. <laughs> Damn, it's like horrible. I got my monitor, I got my monitor, I got my phone down here. My thing you can see it. that's why we're looking at the camera. My laptop's, I, my laptop, laptop is acting as a battery for my light. My keyboard, our case, is the one I think I got it. I'm not an affiliate link person. Maybe in the future. Not now. Alright, well, just chill for now. Don't think about money when it comes to YouTube. Sorry. Not when it comes to YouTube soon. If I do gain the size of the audience. Yeah, anyways, that's irrelevant. I think we pop up the video. I think that. I'm just so happy. I think that it's great. No, no, no the most thoughts in my mind. I'm happy that I'm alone. I think it's great I'm alone. I think it's great I'm alone because. And I'm happy I'm alone because. The only way I find the people that would resonating with the most in the future I'm also giving myself this opportunity to change you know oftentimes a lot of people they go about their lives never really changing always around people and always staying to that one identity with this one group of people this one idea one collective one way you know well we, we play games oh well, yeah we, we go to the pub every Sunday every Saturday Friday night oh we we go drinking before we drink that's British drinking culture, by the way, you drink pre-drinks in your hotel room or something, or at someone's house, and then you go out into the night drinking as well, getting, getting hammered at home, getting extra hammered outside. That is disgusting. And that's drinking, dr British drinking culture, and I will never, ever be a part of that, because I am not a degenerate, and I'm an athlete. And because I'm an athlete, I would like to become an elite level athlete, a world class athlete, so why would I pursue alcohol and detrimental drugs? They're not safe consumption of alcohol. You know, even though Brian Johnson, the guy who's like trying to prolong his life, he, he advocated for it. And like, oh yeah, you can drink, it's too expensive from a caloric standpoint, but yeah, you can drink, it's fine, whatever. Bro, there's no safe amount of alcohol you can, you can take and take. There is no safe amount, none whatsoever. And I'm not gonna take the risk. I don't care enough about alcohol in order to take the, the risk. I, I literally don't give a fuck. So because I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna do it. This is, will, will this result in me being lonelier? Because I don't do the general, the general activities like smoking and drinking and partying, and having fun, having fun in the sense of instant gratification, full on dopamine frying activities. Yeah, sure. I'll be lonelier. Because everyone else is doing the fun activities, fucking up their lives. And when they're older, in their 20s, or in their 20s, they're still doing their 20s, but in their mid-20s, like 25, instead of partying, they'll probably start the grind phase, start working, having children, etc, etc. Or looking towards having children, maybe not even then. Because, I'm definitely a woman, because of eggs by 30. But definitely not men. <coughs> because... Definitely not men. The reason why? Because they can have kids later on, and yeah, I guess men are blessed by time in that sense. If they do the work, they age like wine. Ironic, because I'm against alcohol. You know, I'm very, I'm very glad I'm alone. It gives me a good moment to like, just think. I, I remember my one friend. I'm gonna call him out. I'll shout out to him. 
if I can, then I'll put the link, his links in his YouTube in the description below. I love him a lot. Hamza. Not the Hamza Ahmed we know. Hamza. I'm not gonna miss Hamza. Hamza, my boy. That's my guy. He's, he reached out to me. He's buying me some stuff. Like, oh, if you're if you're alone, it's okay. I can I can I can invite you. Come with me, bro. Come with me, and my friends, etc. And I'm like, oh. And Hamza guy's a good guy, you know. <laughs> this guy's a really good guy. I know to myself. I'm so grateful having a friend like him. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this. Boom. I'm so grateful for having a friend like Hamza because Hamza, like he he invites me to stuff. He gives me included. He's a friend. He's a genuine friend. I don't know about close friend. I don't even close to anyone, particularly. Perhaps not even my own mother. Sometimes. Uh, I guess I would say I'm close, but not like I can confide in this person. I can't confide in my mother. I keep my my thoughts and my emotions a secret. I'm usually stoic. My my face not only really changing. Okay, throughout my throughout my day, maybe with a smile, a laugh here and there. But that's it. I'm never sad. I'm never anything like that. And yeah, it's just um, it's the way it's been for a while. Not particularly angry. It's just is what it is. Let me put my keyboard here. This is looking. No, I can't. It's gonna fall. No. What am I doing? Oh, oh, oh. I want to show my keyboard. Hey, you guys, RK61, it looks so fucking nice, and there's a magnet on the USB on the back as well, it's sneak, built in USB, and like, there's a magnet right there, look at this, oh shit, boom, you hear that, I'm gonna hear, yeah, I really like my setup at the moment, it looks really nice, I like, I like, I like keyboard. Keyboard's good. I, mean, I think I'm a keyboard person now. First mechanical keyboard. It was cheap as fuck. Okay. I watch a lot of those videos where you're like, what? You know, turn off your phone and disappear for two years and see when they come back. And I kind of already kind of like done that. There was a guy called Romeo in my school before. He's a, like a tall white Asian, like a whitish, Asian, Asian, white and Asian kid. He's very, very tall, like six foot, like three, six or four, six or five, roughly like that. Very tall, very lanky. And I was going to boxing and I saw him in a suit on the bus. And I had my contacts in at the time. And I was wearing a hoodie and a jumper and I was wearing a hoodie, not a jumper, a hoodie and a sweatpants and my trainers for boxing. And I, I walked up to him, I tapped him on the shoulder when he was sitting down, I was like, Yo, hi, long time, Mercy, how you been? He said, hi, yeah, like, like this thing. Saying hi, except I'm like, wait, do you not recognize me? It's me, it's me, Jimmy, Anne, like I said my name, like everything. You're like, no, I don't recognize you. I, I completely evaporates from this guy's mind. And like, he, he got, how do I say this? Exemplified. Not exemplified. It got not really exaggerated. It got not necessarily exponential, but like like an explosion that keeps going. Like you say exponential, but it but not the word I'm not looking for. And it's not explosive either. It's something X. It's um exponent. No, I already said exponential. I'm not exemplar. I'm not expansive. I'm looking for my brain for this word, but it was like my growth was like from a loser, fat, gamer, geek, long hair, feminine looking, feminine sounding, like low testosterone, everything across the now, and I just exploded, exploded in shape, got high testosterone. I can tell I got high testosterone, good mindset, good fucking or different facial bone structure. My face has like more like angular curves to it. You see my jawline a bit. If I fucking do this or this and shit. I couldn't do that before. I was so fat. It was like one slob. One slob. I was that fat. I was obese. I was obese. If you look, look at my BMI, I, I'm pretty sure I was obese. 5'4, 5'5, 87 kilos. That's fat, not muscle kilos. That's obesity. Now I am 71, 72 kilos. Something around the mark. Yeah, something like that. 72 kilos after food, 71 kilos uh, before food. It was like something like 71 point something kilos. 
I gotta recheck that, but yeah, I'm quite light now in comparison. Well, 17, almost 20 kg almost. I can just put, I pretty much say 20 kg because I was, I was, I was like, it's an 87, 88, working around my mark, very fat. And um, it's quite depressing time to place to be like, God, motherfucking damn man. What a weird time to be, to be like, super fat, all the way shape, just lethargic all the time. So it's, it's a weird place to be at. I don't, I don't recommend it for anyone. Of course, I can imagine, like, I can imagine it wouldn't be recommended for anyone. But um, yeah, some individuals choose to be fat, and then, um, they blame it on external circumstances. They get power to external circumstances, and, and just that's just not only annoying, but it's fucking dog shit. <sighs> Reiterate, I was that individual when I met this, my old friend on the bus. Tapped on the shoulder, said, "Hey, he didn't recognize me. I said my name, didn't recognize me. I said familiar phrases like give me a number, whatever, whatever, didn't recognize me, because he would never give me his number." And I, I always ask for his number because I added could add him to the group chat. But he was um, a tall, lanky, antisocial individual. And because he was a tall, lanky, antisocial individual, he often struggled with communication, which means that he would struggle in a group chat environment. And I knew this would happen. So I wanted to introduce him to people so he could talk to people. What ended up conspiring was he never gave me his number. So I always ended up telling him to give me his number. I guess the account has harassment. But this was, I was a minor, he was a minor. So it's okay, right? <laughs> I just said hi and I gave up. So I wanted him to be social. Because he was like the only other Asian kid. It was one out of four Asian kids. He's the fourth Asian kid, I forgot, in my school. But he's so like, zero presence. You know the motherfuckers that have zero presence? You don't even know they're there. They just appear. Like, oh shit, you're there. It, he's one of them motherfuckers. And I feel like, when I don't talk, when I'm just chilling, looking back on the side, and I'm just like doing this. I'm like one of them in the background motherfuckers. Until I'm talking, I'm loud, I'm there, I'm, like, I'm the extrovert, hey, I'm making, I'm making jokes, I'm making everyone laugh, ha, 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 whatever. Until I'm that type of character, I'm usually the laid back introvert, no one really knows I'm there. And I, I think it's a phenomenal balance to have. I'll tell you why. <laughs> because I've experienced both worlds. Because I've experienced both worlds, I'll tell you which one's better. The better, bo the better of the world is definitely introvert. And if you're, you're the introvert at the moment, it's not the best of the world, because that's your entire reality. You don't know what else is out there. If you are an extrovert and you're introvert, the f and the fact is, if you're comfortable by yourself, you're very, very, you're well off. You're very well off if you're comfortable by yourself. Comfortable by yourself. No distractions, no, like, no music like me, perhaps the camera here, but like, you're just chilling, you know, whatever. I can just chill right here, you know? That'd be a very good spot to be. If you hadn't experienced the extrovert side, it would be a very horrible spot to be in because you don't have that like, balance of both of it. It's like, it's like, um, it's like a sex for a virgin. It's a completely foreign thing. They don't know what it's like. They've seen porn videos, they've seen like videos online, etc. But they don't know what it's genuinely like. The swaying is talking. Okay, I'm not a swine, actually. It's going to get taken out. Um, <laughs> the intimacy, if you can say that. They don't know what it's like, and I think that. Reiterate that I became that individual that disappeared, and because I'm like I'm I'm, I'm in, uh, intrinsically an introvert. I, I'm born an introvert, created extrovert. Like I was born introvert. I was born so shy to the point where I couldn't talk to the cash register. I was like I was born so shy to the point where I couldn't talk to the um, store assistant in Primark. I was so shy I couldn't talk to any of these people. Now when I get into a store, it's the first thing I do. And the reason why is because of a multitude of factors, but it started with my mom saying, you have a mouth, why don't you, why don't you use it? And I tell other people these days, these days as well, in order to try to become, let them become a bit more extroverted. Because if you do become more extroverted, what happens is, you end up understanding reality from a different perspective. You end up understanding reality from, hey, oh yeah, wow, this person really is listening to me. The person like is really into it, he's really laughing. I'm making this person laugh. It feels good. But you also, in your moments of silence and solitude, you get to genuinely reflect and think about your life and how you act out your life so far. It, it's, it's this, like, it's immense contrast. It's immense polarization that gives you balance, bro. I shouldn't have the bro in there. It's this immense contrast. This immense difference. This immense polarization that gives you balance, ironically. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You need to be that ultra extrovert, hey I get girls, hey I'm about that life and I'm fit, I'm showing off my six pack, woohoo, I've got a nice car, 
get fucking two bitches in one seat up in that in that fucking bitch and they, the, the bitch on top's crushing the bitch below she's hurting so they have to switch every so often and they're getting fucking food they're getting coffee yeah, I don't care I've got all that money in the world so the person who's just by themselves in the computer who's chilling who goes to, to a cafe by himself to go, who goes to a library by himself who spends his entire day by himself cooking, cleaning, whatever in deep solitude in deep thought you need to have the balance of both but I'm so grateful for having that loneliness. Like loneliness for a lot of people would be happy, would be this overbearing, despairing feeling of, oh God, there's no one, oh, there's no one to love me. That's like, oh, there's no one to love me. I, I hate life, whatever. That's the majority of um, the people with outlook on the emotion of loneliness. And I think that this is the wrong way to look about it, because and it's the wrong way because because like motherfucker man. No, it's the wrong way to look at it because if you do look at it that way, you will suffer. And it's the wrong way to look at it because you haven't experienced the other side. The lowest likely scenario is people that are introverted will always be introverted. People that are extroverted will always be extroverted. And any moment where they find themselves introverted, like where they're lonely or some shit, they'll instantly find something else to, you know, suffice that. You know, they go on Discord, they go on this, they go on that, in order to supplement that social, that social need. Right, the social validation. I'm gonna sell you here, not necessarily hope, but hope for change. I became unrecognizable. I became unrecognizable. To a person, just two, two, three years ago, they, they, they see me, they understood me, they're like, they're like, hey, yeah, whatever. They knew who I was two years ago, three years ago. Just two, three years later, I became unrecognizable. I'm taller, I'm slimmer, I'm stronger, I'm muscular, I'm sport. Bro, I'm sports like I'm going to the gym, I'm fucking got contacts on. I got, like, oh, bro, it's like, I'm like fucking Clark Kent and Superman. Like, geek by day, no, superhero by day, geek by night. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> You can be that individual that go go, go away for two years, change, become a different person. I was that person. I just built my wisdom to it. Ow. I was that person. You know my wisdom to it is already growing. It's actually crazy. And it's just wow. It's way to it's, it's way to think about. It's it's very very weird to think about. It's um it's unique to think about. It definitely it's definitely unique. To think and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I, I wish this person, Romeo, if you're out there, you're never gonna find him. I don't even have his fucking number. They can't even tap my Facebook, his Facebook. Like, he, he doesn't follow me anywhere. Like, I, I see him out and about, maybe once per blue moon. Like, motherfucker, that's it. And I have no intention of getting his number either because, frankly, I don't give a fuck. It's, it's actually, it's, it's a good skill. It's not caring at all. It's a very, very good skill not caring. Because the more you care, the more you, you allow yourself to be liable to get hurt. And if it's worth it, then sure. But if it's not worth it, like it's a random, it's a random fucking tall, skinny, lanky Asian dude. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know fuck. His mom's tall as fuck, though. I think like French, Korean, or some shit. Or I don't know where he, exactly where he's from. I'm not particularly interested in either. But yeah, it's just weird to think about it. The fact that I was completely, I feel unrecognizable. And it was because I was lonely for a good amount of time. For a good amount of time, I had them really lonely days. It was like silent, cold despair. And I, and I love it, bro. I love it. I'm so happy I was like that. I went through that. I had no one to call and no one to talk to. I thought I that was the very moment. There's no one I could really talk to at the very moment. No one I could really call. No one I bother care enough calling. Sure, maybe that guy, maybe that Turk, but then again, nah, I'm not gonna fucking call him. When I do get this group of people, when I do make them friends on the cell phone space, and then we do get a bond, give mutual value, and over the years we've gone closer and closer and closer. I think it'll be one of a, a good moment in my life. But at this moment, I don't have friends. I don't have 
But I think that will distract me from me down. I would rather be focused and pushing towards my goal solo for now. And of course, like the logo will die for, dies a lot, but that's like not in the modern day. But I'm going against the modern day curve a bit. Of course, like it's good to have a social a circle. But how come in all the groups I'm in, and all like the countless groups I'm in, the countless friendship groups, the countless socializing groups, the countless this group, how come I still feel lonely? Because I don't resonate with these people. Because my I go is online with these people. I don't care enough about them. They don't care enough about me. Like, of course I'm not going to resonate with them. Of course I'm not going to feel a thing. I'm not going to feel in line with them. I want to feel lonely in these groups. I'm in so many friend groups, bro. That's not a flex. That's, full, that's, that's fucking reverse flex, bro. How come I'm in all these friend groups, but I still feel lonely? I'm with all these people. Tyler, Francis, or whatever, whatever. I can name all these groups on top of my head. Five at the moment, I could like instantaneously talk to them, and then they would be always talking, all these messages buzzing. How come I'm still lonely after all of that? You know why? Cause I don't meditate with these people. Distraction of the distraction of distraction. Some of them like movies, some of them like this, some of them like that, some of them like drinking, going to the pub, going to the fucking partying and shit. I don't like any of that stuff. I said this before, like, oh yeah, when I'm older, I'll do it. No, no, I'm not older. I'm not older. I look like how people, like, having fun in clubs, I, that doesn't look fun to me. I look at people that are productive, that work fucking hard, that train. Like Mike Tyson running in the morning, Mike Tyson skipping, Floyd Mayweather running, Floyd Mayweather skipping. I look at that shit and I think that's fucking inspiring, that's productive, and that's fucking enjoyable. Suffering. Because I know my suffering paid off, bro. I know the results, like, results for your motivation, right? Motivation is the luxury of those that have already achieved. I think I made that by myself. There's no way. No one else said that shit. Either. But motivation is the luxury of those who have achieved. You don't feel motivation until you've already achieved something. And even then it dissipates. That's why motivation is a lie, right? It just comes and goes. It's like a ghost. It's not real. It just comes and goes and comes and goes. What I like from all these individuals, what I want to see as fun, and what I do see as fun is discipline, bro. Working fucking hard towards something that actually benefits me, bro. I'm not interested in the video games anymore. I'm fucking hung it up. This controller has mad drift. Yo, yo. Motherfucking man. That's how I feel like playing on this fucking controller. I'm gonna get the data. I'm happy I'm done, bro. I'm, I'm happy. Like, I, I get to have this moment where I'm just alone with the camera. And I, the a few odd people that watch my video. They will resonate with them, you know, and I could potentially make be think to potentially be my friend when they join my Discord, or so join my group, whatever, my Telegram group. I'm not talking about the kids these days. Oh, it smells candle. Oh, it smells so nice. It's um, sea minerals. Besides the candle, my BM Home Store. It's really nice. It's like three pounds. It's very cheap. Like pro, like. I can think of so many times where I was in this particular friendship group and I always used to call them, always used to talk to them, always used to see them. But the, the loneliness I felt in this group was immense. And I think I've documented it before on this channel. Like I'm, like, I'm not friends with these guys anymore, which is true. Like, I'm not really friends with them anymore. I say hi sometimes. But they're like, some of the, they're like friends with each other. There's like a very small group, like four people. Two brothers, one person. If they're watching this video, they know, but they're not going to watch this video. They, there's one person and two brothers. They, they get along well. The younger brother doesn't get along with them, the older brother doesn't get along with them, he has his own friend group. The older brother and the thing, the other person, they get along well. That's good. I'm happy for them. Distract yourself more and more. I want to find that ultra discipline, ultra hard working, ultra fucking focused, go getter mindset motherfuckers who are willing to get up and fucking work, bro. Be around those type of people. I don't, I don't know anyone single person that's like that anymore. Someone who genuinely enjoys the pain suffering when i go boxing my intention is not to fucking half-ass my train my intention is to feel as much pain as fucking possible i, I i'm surprised that people don't feel, uh, try to feel as much pain as possible you know why 
I'm surprised that people don't use correct form on their um, on their push-ups, on their Russian twists, on their planks. They don't use correct form. They, they half-ass it. And they know they half-ass it. And if everyone corrects them. Everyone corrects them. They're like, oh yeah, whatever. They half-ass it, bro. I'm grateful that they do. You know why? Because when I'm suffering, when I'm going through the hard work, I'm gonna be fucking fit and strong as fuck. And all these fuckers are gonna be fat and lazy and fucking piece of shit. Suffer as a result. It's suffer or suffer, right? Choose suffer. The former. It's a weird dilemma to be in. It's a very, very weird dilemma to be in. The dilemma of like that lone wolf thing. I don't, I don't advocate for it at all. But if you can go through it and you can be fine, you mean like a Dana White likes to say, you're savage. If you're one of these savages, dude, you're gonna kill this generation. If you could be one of them savages, this cable is fucking me up. Is HDMI 2 correct? I know this hurt in the middle of the night. Oh my god, this cable is fucking me up, bro. What a waste of a cable. young man well it's not good damn his hair fucking sucks I don't want to be alone forever but I certainly don't want to be a friend of idiots I think that finding a good balance is always positive um, I don't really care about the gaming group of friends. If I drop all my gaming friends tomorrow, I don't think I would lose sleep at all. I don't think I would particularly lose any form of unhappiness. I would be very, very happy losing all of them and losing all of them permanently because I am not a gamer anymore. I don't have that anymore. I'm just not a gamer in general. I just game. Cause I don't have a point to prove to myself. The ego thing. And it's just like, your ego is dangerous, bro. I feel like your e my ego like forced me to play the game. But I did not want to play the game. Wait, should I set my camera up here? So you guys can see my, my screen. Can I even do that? I just had an idea. Not, not the video though. You know, I would. You know, I would advocate for, and I wouldn't advocate for the lone wolf path because the lone wolf dies alone. I would advocate for the. I'm alone for a while until I find a group, and I'm alone because I know I want to achieve what I want to achieve. It's weird. It's like um. I guess the simplest way I could say it, in, in, the, in the most cringiest way possible, the Sigma Male grind set. You are a sigma male. It's so fucking funny. Come on, my friend said one time to me, Are you a sigma male? Are you a sigma male? A sigma male. He's on the sigma male grind set. He finds other sigma males and they grind together and they, you know, become the sigma male tribe, the alpha male tribe, whatever we, we would like to call it. And I think having this is good. This entire paradigm is good. Finding other people that are focused, having a go get mindset is very, very good. But you will not find these people if you are strung out, addicted on the instant gratification, dopamine, motherfucking bullshit activities. I like drugs. And video games is drugs, so video game counts as drugs. I like partying, gaming, counts as a drug. What is instant gratification? Drinking. That's just a drug as well, the drugs go on a lot of things. Alcohol. Social media, porn, this type of retard shit. 
was a genuinely regressive, I um, not necessarily ideology, aggressive actions, retarded. Yeah, I look back at my old self, and I have to say that my old self was retarded for this. I remember days where I would just go by and I really felt like I achieved nothing that day and I really did achieve nothing that day like surprise surprise I just I did absolutely fuck all I did absolutely fuck all but then I would have like eight nine hours on TikTok instead of the eight nine hours spent reading learning Focusing, meditating, doing the work. Look at my fucking clips I need to do. Look at this thing to do. Look at that. Instead of doing that shit, it was fucking TikTok. It was YouTube. It was Twitch. It was the, uh, Aloha. I used the browser Aloha to read manual. It was Aloha. It was Google Chrome. Sometimes I use Google Chrome as well to read manual and manga. It was entertainment of the entertainment, distraction of the distraction, delusion of the delusion, and it just swept up. And like one day, I just felt overwhelmed, and I thought to myself, like, holy shit, I'm achieving nothing about it. I need to go on the dopamine detox. Video coming out soon, very soon. I think it'll, it'll come out within this week, genuinely. No, within tomorrow. I'm gonna start filming tomorrow. I'm gonna keep up this on this video. That overwhelmed me. It genuinely overwhelmed me. I was at like a weird stance. Of, it's very focused, focused, dude. I was at a weird stance of where I was like, I could keep doing this. I keep wasting more of my life. I could keep seeing my physique slip away. I could keep seeing my mind slip away. Or I can get back on the grind. Start working hard again. I'm training hard again. I'm the best version of myself. You know, one of the things I'm super grateful for, and I'm ultra, ultra grateful for, and like, like ultra, ultra fucking grateful for. You know what it is? I'll let you guess. Keep guessing. The thing I'm grateful for. It's the simplest thing. And I'm, I'm, this is one of the things I'm like, I say I'm grateful for this, grateful for this, but my emotions might be related toward it. But I'm genuinely grateful for this one thing. You know what that is? You say it first. Ah, I'm not teasing you. Do what it is. It's having a choice. That's what I'm grateful for. Having a choice. Weird, right? Why would you be grateful for having a choice? Who cares? I'm grateful for having a choice because it gives you this immense clarity on life. I have a choice, I have a decision, I have the power to choose. Every single day, wake up the power to choose. The power to choose. Every single day. But what do we do with that power? We abuse it, we use it on bullshit, instant gratification activities. We choose the distraction, we choose the bullshit, we choose the entertainment, we choose the fucking. Okay, this is, this is becoming instant gratification. I'm too, I'm too fucking giddy on my keyboard. I'm, I have a choice. Anyone that is my age, that like seems to have their life a bit in, in a bit of a mess. You know, they smoke, they drink, they party, they, like, you know, they smoke weed in graveyards, they emo, whatever, whatever, right? They're usually like, they're, they're losers. Anyone who is a loser, maybe they're fat, ugly, they're a video gamer. Anyone who within that demographic of people, guess what? They're unorganized. Their room is dirty. Their bank account is weak. It's shallow. Do you know why? Their physique, you know, out of shape, skinny, skinny, fat, or fat, right? That's the majority of the population. It's more than 80, it's like 90% of the population are skinny, skinny, fat, and fat. Why is this? I'll tell you why. 
because they had a choice, they had the power to choose, and they chose wrongly. I had the power to choose, and I chose rightly. And of course, like, if you don't give a fuck, fair enough. Like, a lot of people in, in England, they're depressed, they're sad, they're lonely, whatever, whatever. But they kind of just play a ton of PlayStation, and they don't really give a fuck. And their life is shit, they know their life is shit, and they will never try to attempt to recuperate their life on its shitness. They'll just stay within the shitness, and then, you know, they'll be accustomed to it, and they don't really care. Fair enough. But people that do give a fuck, they consistently make the bad choice, and they genuinely, consistently blame something else. And I used to do this too. I used to always be blaming something else. Until one day, Mr. Top G from Heaven came above. And gave me something. And Mr. Heaven, from the heavens above, MJ DeMarco came above, and Hamza came above, and they slapped me in the face. And they gave me the biggest reality check of hey, you have a choice. Make the fucking right choice or suffer. You know, the question comes up a lot Would you take $10 million? But you would die tomorrow. Straight up death. You would only live one more day. And then you would die tomorrow. And that day is today. The rest of the today and then tomorrow you would die. You would go to sleep and you would die. Or you would die via a mystical cause. You would die for sure. Full stop. Ten million dollars or you would die tomorrow. Everyone chose it tomorrow. Everyone chose it tomorrow. Not a single person out of hundreds of people, thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people chose ten million dollars. You know why? Because one day is worth more than ten million dollars. You know why? Plus, because one day has ten million dollars worth of choices. Is that, is that wrong? Because one day has ten million. Ten million dollars worth of choices. That's what I say. Ten million dollars value in choices. Because the choices you make in a day can accumulate ten million dollars. They can be worth ten million dollars. Just simple choices we make. Because anyone in a high position within the financial world within the entrepreneurial world, within the phys- um, thing, the fiscal sector, within the IT sector, any Top of top of the line industry, any person who's in the top line of any industry will tell you that decision making and choice making is one of the most important things to do in any company, in any environment, anything. Yet people will consistently make the wrong choice every single fucking day. They won't exercise, they won't eat right, they won't work, they won't work on themselves, they won't read, they won't spend the extra time instead of. Drowning themselves in Instagram gratification, dopamine, bullshit, movies, K dramas, dramas, whatever. They won't do that. They'll spend their life dredging on, hating every single day in a haze, sacrificing their day for a few dollars, making the wrong fucking choice. That's not really a result, you know. It's the biggest thing I'm grateful for by far. I mean, having a choice. I, like, I had the choice to make my room clean and spacious and big and fucking nice. My desk is fucking nice. It's woke. But it's got a den right here from chess when I fucking smashed that hole. Smashed that hole. Oh, I've got my background. I really like it. This, this screen is like. You can see it. See it in this screen. I don't know what the color touch on this screen, and the color touch on this screen is so fucking poor. Like, it's here. It looks super white, whitewashed. Look at that. I don't know how to change it. Do you want to share it? My room's clean. It's small. I got my mattress on the side. I made my bed. I'm trying to sleep yet. Right there. No speakers, no span of dust. I have the choice to be clean, bro. You should have seen my room before, it was fucking messy. You should have seen my desk before, it was fucking messy. And my life was a mess. Rightly so. How can my life be clean when my desk is not clean? That doesn't make sense. It's not logical. 
It's not real. <sighs> you know, I have no sympathy for individuals that are fat and lazy. They don't have the life they want. They're always dreaming in delusion of a life that is better than theirs. I have no sympathy for these individuals, despite being one of those individuals before myself. And even after like reverting to an individual that I hate to take the action, etc., etc., I have no sympathy again. The reason why I have no sympathy is the same reason why I am grateful for having a choice. It's because I understand I have a choice, and understand these people take the wrong choice every single fucking day, and I understand that any choice, any bad choice, although it makes your life worse, it is usually not instantaneous. It is usually accumulative. It's like um, a poison attack in a video game. The, the initial damage might be poor, but over time, you'll be left on 1 HP. From 99 HP to 1 HP. Every single bad choice. You eat McDonald's instead of a thing. Um, a healthy meal. Or fish, potatoes, rice, and veggies. Minus 1 HP. You play video games for 6 hours, like me. Like a fucking idiot. Minus 6 HP. You jerk off to corn. Minus 25 HP, so on, so on, so forth. You spend six hours scrolling through on TikTok. You look at your cumulative hours on your phone, and instead of on productive apps, and you're actually doing work, and then instead of like coping, oh, I left it on the productive app, so I did a lot of work today. No, 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 no. Did you do work on your phone? Yes or no? No, and it's just a lot of hours on there. Be honest with yourself. Because at the end of the day, like, who else is there with you? No sympathy. Being fat as well. Like, all minus HP, all minus HP, bro. Like, you don't get fat in a day. You get fat in a year. It's 365 days, it's hundreds of days. You get fat in 10 years. It's thousands of days. It's 3,650 days. 10 years. So you will be sometimes, right? That isn't fucking. That's 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 not genetic. That's not nothing like that. That's completely and utterly your fucking fault. Who oh, lack is a kind of stupid soft and you know they get it, they get anxious and this kind of thing. They get it. Well, oh, that's weird. Up, but what if? But what if? What if? You know, keep saying what if. Keep saying. They just have like some rare thyroid syndrome or some shit like that. But most people don't fucking have that. They just eat too much. They don't, they don't work out. They just don't work out, period. They distract themselves, distract themselves, distract themselves, period. Good. Keep going. I have no sympathy. I don't care. Let me tell you a secret. Because if you're watching this far in the video, you're probably one of my boys. You know my boys. My own mother. And all, and all my other friends. Are addicted, addicted to entertainment media. You know, back in the day where the mother would like scold you for being in your phone too long. I don't get that anymore. My mom is more addicted to my phone than me. She would have a movie, a TV on maybe sometimes, that's like a background noise, and she would have her phone. She would be watching a movie, she would have her phone scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and this and that. She doesn't use Twitter, she uses Instagram and Facebook exclusively, along with WhatsApp, like Messenger, or whatever. She on these apps, coping, oh, I'm working, 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 scrolling, 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 moving on the side, occasionally she'll come watch when it's a good scene, and the TV in the background, like, giving ambient noise, feel less lonely. That's fucking addiction. I told her multiple times, she doesn't listen. Like, oh, let, mind your own business. I don't mind my own business. I'm focusing on your own life. And I laid it out bare on a Sunday when I told her the truth. I don't care anymore. I don't have energy to care. I have no sympathy. Even for you, my own mother. And I love you very much, Mum. But I can't keep telling you. That's something you have to figure out yourself. Look how many devices you have on. Look how many distractions you have. What's going on here? You're not, you're not, in, you're not on the sofa. Just chilling. No, 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 you're feeling so far overstimulated. My own mother's did to this shit. My mom has probably more hours on all the devices than me. 
have my computer and my fucking phone at all. And the majority of people like this as well. TikTok, 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 Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. There will be one distraction or another distraction. And I don't care. I think too much energy to care. I would rather care enough to make the video and I would just repeatedly send that video. And no effort, send YouTube link. Hey, you're wasting your life. Send that YouTube link. I can send them 50 times. No effort, no blood, sweat, and tears. I even want you to give my friends um, motivational speeches and try to change your life and try to put them on the focus path. And you know, really care, guys. Guys, if you really do this, you it. I don't do that anymore. I don't give a fuck. And I, I saw Joe Rogan talk about it. Like, you, can't, you just can't change the people. I was like, yeah, you, you just really can't change the people. Wonderful. I'm not going to try to change them. He was really fucking nice. I'm not gonna try to change people. I'm not gonna try to. She's like, my own business focus on. I've been focusing on my life. I, I thought the call of truth. When was the last time I told you to stop using so many devices and social media and all this type of stuff? When was the last time? I just couldn't name it. I said, here's the reality, mom. I don't care. I don't care for all the people. I don't continue to not give a fuck. That's the best part. I mean, you don't give a fuck about other people. You have. You give yourself leeway. You give yourself energy to care about yourself. Let's get shit done. I'm grateful for being alone, I'm grateful for not caring, I'm grateful for a lot of these things, I'm grateful for having a choice. Most important, of course. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Live mediocre, that video, girl. Are you living mediocre right, Are you living mediocre right now? I sure as I, sure I am. Like, I don't forget to live mediocre, but this changes right now. Bye bye. Oh my god, the video that end. I'm going to check the figure of my keyboard. This is an ASMR shit, you want to do this shit. The fucking stand broke, you trash stand. Look at this shit, man. I don't know this. Look at this. It fucking it broke. I don't care. I'm using my. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Just call my name. I'm yours too. This is Inception. I get it. That one angle, please. How do people get angles like this? Oh my god, keyboard. No one's watching this video. It's 15 minutes. It's a W video. It's a W, guys. I know I'm the best, I'm the best YouTuber in the world. This stand sucks. I hate this stand. I hate this stand with riveting passion. I'm not doing it. I don't use it anymore. Look at this shit, That's crazy. Look at this. I do this instead. I do this. Where'd my jawline go? Those fat fingers, bro. I'm on fucking dead.
That is so nice. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.